still under uh, fire and print services. We're going to create and configure a printer pool. So let's go to the dashboard. We click on add rows and what? Services. We click on next. It's a row based services. Of course, we're using the IP address of the server. And we scroll down. You see print and row services there? Can you click on it? And click on add features as required. Next. We click on next and next. Okay, what are we installing? We're installing what? The print what? The print server. Is that not correct? We're installing the print server. There's a difference. We have internet print. Have you seen some companies like HP? They say put your pictures online so that we can print. Yeah, when you have internet print, it means you can have a website. When users upload their pictures, then they can click on print and the printer automatically takes their picture and prints it out. So, it's, yeah, yeah. It's hosted. The server is hosted on the internet. So it takes the, the job from the internet, prints it. Then when the job is printed, it can have one class. When the job is printed, the guys just go in, they put the pictures together, seal it, and they post it to you. So we're going to install a print server. I'll click next, and best practice, always restart. If restart is needed, right? And you click install. So I'd like to go through. It's finished. I'm going to click on close now. Let's go to the next step. The next step um, is to install a printer. Is that not correct? Are we together? The next step is to install a printer. So to install a printer, it's simple. We go on um, the print server. Can we not go to the print server? Can you go to tools? You see print management now. Click on it. Of course, you see print servers, right? Now, if you click on uh, printers, you don't have any printers there, apart from the XP document, right? Is that not correct? OK, can we right click and print on, can we right click? Class. <laughs> OK. Right click on the print server. Sorry, correct. Click on the printers and click on Add Printer. Okay. You notice that it says Add a TCP and what? IP what? Or Web Services Printer by using the IP address of the host name. Now, we're not using a local printer. We're using an IP printer. Is that not correct? So, click Next. Of course, we're going to select Auto Detect. And um, on the IP address, can we type 192? One nine two one six eight dot one dot what dot one right Do you see where it says auto detect printer drivers to use? Yep. Uncheck it, then click next. Is that not correct? So we'll allow generic card and click next. <coughs> we have installed a new driver there. Okay, make sure it's selected. We're not using an existing driver, so we'll click next. And it's going to scan. So we're going to look for Microsoft. Can we look for Microsoft? Just type M. Microsoft, just type M. And look for the Microsoft XP class driver. Is that not the one there? Yeah. XP S class driver. Then click Next. Now on the printer name, type Branch Office. Branch Office printer.
Did you see where it says share this printer? Hmm? Click next. Did you see the summary? Click next. Since driver installation succeeded, printer installation what? Succeeded. We are not printing a test, uh, test page, we're not adding another printer, so we'll click on what? Finish. Do we have our printers there? Mm -hmm. So what's the next step? The next step is to list the printer in Active Directory and enable Office Direct Printing. Is that not correct? Mm -hmm. can, you right, can you click on the Branch Office Printer? Can you right click on it? Now did you see where it says Enable Branch Office Printing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, click on it. Branch Office Direct Printing, yes. Now, they were asked to list it on Active Directory, right? They right click on it, go to Property. Click on the Sharing tab. Did you see where it says List on the Directory? Because you're asked to list it on Active Directory. So click List in Directory. Then click apply and click on what? So you can refresh. And that is done. The next task is task three. We're going to be configuring printer pooling. Let's confirm how many IP addresses we have on our system. Now if we go to the network, our main server is using dot one. Is that not correct? And Internet 2 is using dot 3. Is that not correct? Or whatever your IP is using. Huh? Just take note of those Ethernet 2 and main server, okay? We're going, to we're going to configure printer pooling. Are we together? Yes. Click on server 1. Okay. Did you see where it says ports? Click on ports. Expand it. Now, what port do you see there? And where is he? Which printer is it connected to? And the port type is what? Right. Okay, right click on an empty space. Then click on Add Port. And what are the two options you have there? Okay, are we looking at local port or standard port or uh, TCP IP? Is this standard or local? Standard. Have you clicked on standard? Are we are we in one class? Okay, next. The next step now is to click on what? New what? Port what? Wizard. So click on new port. The wizard pops up. Next. What's the IP address of your Ethernet adapter 2? It's 192.168. Mine is 1. Dot three. Mine is dot three. I don't know what is yours. If was if yours is six, if yours is seven, if yours is five, put that IP address there. Have we done that? Click next. So we'll leave it for you to scan again. Click next. And click finish. Close. Is the port added? Yes. Huh? Okay, go to printers now. You see your branch office printer? Can you right click on it? And click on properties. Then you see where it says ports? The tab, ports. Now, what's the ports currently enabled there? What port is currently enabled there? And you check the port where it says dot one dot three. Mm -hmm. But before you do that, you can't do this without enabling what we call the uh, print pooling. Are you getting me? If you try that, it's only going to switch. 
the IP address. It's not yes, it will just be it will just switch. Now, if I enable this now, let me go back. If I enable this now, if I come here now, it's going to allow it to enter. So I'm going to click on apply. I'm going to click on what? Okay. So let's go and install the printer on the client. Let's go to our client's computer. I'm going to log in as um, Peter. Okay. Go to control panel. Then you have where it says hardware and sound, right? Then you see where it says add a device. Mm -hmm. It's scanning for devices. Did you see your branch office printer? Uh -huh. Can you see your branch office printer? Class, can you see your branch office printer? Okay, select it. Click on next. It's connecting. And that's it. Your printer has been what? Installed. Now, if you go back to Printers and devices. If you go back to your control panel, you click view devices and printers, you'll be able to see your printer there. That's it. Branch office. If you right click, go to property. Sorry. If you right click and go to printer property, if you click on ports, you see that there are two ports that are there. Dot one and dot what? Three. And you see that it's grayed out, right? Because you're not an administrator. Are you getting me? So you can change the settings. That is, that is how to configure printer pulling. 